with loads of updates and adjustments in MLBB, we have come through a lot of journeys. And on the way, there have been a lot of things that have been removed from the game. So why not spend some time checking those to feel nostalgic and remember our old memories. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in today's video, we will look through all the item and spell that has been removed from the game and also see why they were removed. As you guys know, this video has redeem codes and I want to congratulate the winners of our previous video. Thank you for participating. And similarly, this video will have hidden codes too. Find it from the video and redeem it at kazukiofficialstore.com and your diamonds will be delivered instantly. Let's now check some old items that were removed. First was the disaster tension. This item was like an older version of Divine Cleave but better as it reduces the enemy's magic defense and also get magic defense. It cost 2060 gold, however the item was removed as there were less players interested in this item. Next we have the spirit wheel. This item lets you get extra magic power by gaining stake when eliminating enemies or getting assist. And you could also upgrade the item to Soul Scroll which does cost some more gold and used to grant some extra magic power. But the developer considered the staking system to be failed as fewer players used it and later on removed it. Up next is the Courage Bulwark. This item passive was similar to the old roaming item so the developer removed it with the introduction of the new Anchorage mask. Next we have the Bloodthirsty King. This item passive was too powerful that the developers reworked it and introduced it as the Guardian Helmet. Killer Assist recovered 25% of the hero's HP per second up to 5 seconds. Thanks that it was reworked. Up next we have the Ancient Ghost Statue. This item was almost the same as the Rapid Boots, where you would gain extra movement speed when leaving combat. However, the item was also removed as the fewer players were interested in this item. Let's now check about the Rome items. First, we have the Wooden Mask. This was a Rome item, but before this item was removed, Romers has to sacrifice one slot for this. Well now we can just get the passive of it by buying boots and aiding the roam effect. Next we have the iron mask. You could upgrade to this item after buying the wooden mask. It used to give movement speed, cooldown reduction and some HP. And used to cost a total of 750 gold. Up next is the shadow mask. After buying the Iron Mask, you could upgrade to this. This item gives almost the same states as the Iron Mask but with a bit higher attributes. After we bought this, we could also use the Conceal, where you and nearby allied gets extra movement speed and Conceal. Next we have the Courage Mask. I can still remember every oldest user buying this item. The item effect is a bit similar to the effect of Encourage Roam effect but it used to be an active skill where you have to activate like Wind of Nature, gaining extra movement speed, physical attack and magic power. Next will be the Ohm Mask. All three Roam items used to give the same attributes but three different unique passives. The passive from the Ohm Mask could slow enemies and could stun them. However, all the roaming items were removed so that roamers can have an extra slot for items and the effect was added to the boots. Next we have the jungling items. And the first item will be the hunter knife. This item reminds me of back in the days when everyone would buy this item. When there was no such thing called as Hyper as anyone could take the buff. 
everyone would take this item and take any crepes they want. It was cheap and effective. Next will be the nimble blade. You could upgrade to this after buying the hunter knife. This item used to be very effective for those heroes who deal physical damage. If you kill a creep, it would increase your damage and could stack up too. And you would also gain more experience and gold from killing creeps. If you are looking for a 100% safe and secure diamonds, Kazuki official store is here to fulfill your need. We are trusted by more than 100k MLBB players from India, Philippines and Europe to visit our website and browse between various packs. Up next is the Raptor Machete. This item is an upgraded version of the Nimble Blade. Next we have the Curse Sword. This is also a jungle item which gives higher magic damage and you had to stack it up by killing creeps for up to 10 stacks. You could upgrade to this after buying the hunter knife. Up next we have the star shard. This item used to give an extra magic lifesteal, mana regen and also magic power. This item was also an upgraded version of the curse sword. Just the stake was increased to 15. Next we have the Pillager X. This item was especially for sustainability giving an extra 3 physical and magic defense by killing creeps which could stake up to 10 times. Next will be the item called the Beast Killer. An upgraded version of the Pillager X. The staking could be increased up to 15 times. Some attributes were also included. Though all the jungler items were removed to give more item slots to junglers. Next we have the Wizard Boots. The item used to give extra gold to the user after getting an assist but it was removed as later on when the new roam items was released, the effect were already there in the roam items. Up next is the Boots of Tranquility. This item was like a mini version of Oracle. But the item was later revamped as the demon shoes and the region effect was removed. Next we have Deadly Blade. This was an anti-region item for physical damage dealers, but it was later removed with the revamp of the life drain effects. You can upgrade this item to the Evil Hunter. It was also one of the most costly items costing a total of 4610 gold. The item Evil Hunter consists of the Deadly Blade and Malefic Roll. Next will be the Ice Force. This item was like a different version of the Corrosion Scythe where the basic attack can slow enemies. Next will be the Wild Sword. This item is the same as the current Rogue Meteor. It all gives the same states but just different names and the icon. And we also have the Great Sword same states as the current Dagger but with a different name and icon. Let's now check the spell that were removed. First we have the healing spell. The item was reworked and currently we have it as the item revitalize. Another one was interference. This spell could silence turret hit but this was removed later on as it was too overpowered. Next was the weakened spell. When we used to use this item it will reduce the enemy's movement speed, physical and magic power. Moving on we have track. It used to summon a harper which would follow the enemy nearest to you revealing its position. And at last we have the iron wall. Pretty much the same effect as the vengeance where you used to get higher magic and physical defense. 
Did you guys miss the old ML where there was no trash talking and toxicity didn't exist? And also, did you miss the following item? Do comment down below and with that, here are the 5 shoutouts from our previous video. Edin, Skynote Mango, Gushan, Snowy and Vaisex Senpai. So that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.